Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's a beautiful day and the temperature is really good too. It's like 10 degrees. Here is the thermometer. Oh, it's 11.2 right now. Oh, and I need to change those batteries. Okay. And I wanted to make a kind of an update of a little about everything. So the garden is pretty and the flowers are getting And the windmill is really happy, so it's a bit windy, but over here all my wood, I've been sawing that up and the, there's not that much left. I think I'll, I'll manage for the rest of the year, it's, it's good, no problem. There's some I did last weekend, I have to, have to put into boxes, I'll do that. And also, I want to I want to get rid of this so that I can build a new box for it. But small update. The chimney is doing really great, and the solar collectors up here. Let's go inside. And it became very dark. And the washing machine is running. Have to have clean clothes sometimes. Let's just go down into the basement, see what's oh, didn't get that one. Old door. I just wanted you to see this, like the solar panels up there. Let's have some light. This helps. Yeah. There is 50 degrees Celsius up on the solar collectors, and they're heating the water in the water tank, and that's right now 40, 41 degrees. And it's only what is it? The 8th of March. So I could go get a, take a bath right now uh, and it would be heated from the sun and I think this is so cool that this is possible and it's I think it's about 12 o'clock right now and something else has happened I am charging this battery bank it's it's two banks of 48 volts right now I have them connected into one bank of uh, 96 volts and for the first time ever they are actually charging just a little bit it's like mm, I think this is 1 amp so this would be 100 milliamps and this would be like 10 milliamps so it's charging with 10 milliamps but that's that's the highest I've seen because I haven't really seen them taking any charge at all and yesterday, Saturday morning, I, I did exactly the same, or not exactly, I did kind of the same that I did on my last video about this subject. I took out of all the leads, took the, there was like four really bad batteries, two over here and two over there, and they each got five, five milliliter of distilled water, and I plugged everything back in again. So the bad ones got a, an extra kick. Right here I'm trying to desulfate this battery. I've been working on this for a long time. Um, it's another hopeless project. This is also a hopeless project. It's, the battery is like 16 years old. Um, probably not going to be able to relive this to anything usable. What? I'm having fun! And this battery that I got uh, a couple of weekends ago has been desulfating ever since. And it's not doing much, but I guess that's okay. There's just a desulfator on it and there's a charger on it on the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's, I have this cheap charger back here. Uh, 
which I got for a birthday present when I was like 12 years old or something like that. And this still works great. Kind of cool. And even though it's it's hot outside, I'm still burning the wood stove in here. And oh, this is burning good. Pieces. I always put a little on it when I'm when I'm down here anyway. So yeah, I I bought some cable. Oh, first, can you see this? You can see this. I got another package from China that I ordered, and it's like. It's like these cable things that goes on the batteries, like these, and they're supposed to go on here. It's just I haven't even tried them out yet. That's a bit of, that's tight. Uh, let's see if this is number thirteen. Is it number thirteen? No, it's actually number twelve, but thirteen did the job. It's possible to get that through there and put on the bolt, mm. but not with one hand. It's possible and put on the bolt. They're a bit more flimsy than I would had hoped for. But I guess they will do the job. I might have been a bit too cheap on them. Should probably have used just a little more, a little bit more money on it. But well, yeah. I, I bought them. This hole should make room for ten square millimeters of cable. And I went online and I found I found some cable that said that it was. 10 square millimeters like right here it says can you see that 10 square millimeters heavy duty something and apparently they think that 10 square millimeters is more or less uh, including the cable I'm um, actually I think we should try and and just uninsulate a piece. Let's see how it looks. I might be wrong, which of course almost never happens. <clears throat> there it is. It is thick though. But It's not 10 square. I think it. Ah, it's. It will do. It will do. There's room for a lot of soldering. I uh, solder in there. Um, I was planning to just put the cable in here and fill it up with with solder. Put that in there. And I'm gonna try that. In just a little bit. That was a quick update. What I'm doing here, uh, all the small projects that I, uh, that's not really big enough for an entire video. So uh, you get these small updates from time to time. And upstairs, I'm doing a server video, and it's taking forever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.